Hello everyone, welcome to another video from the series where I rig and animate tracer from Overwatch. I'm using Spine 2D. Let me show her in Spine. We are using Spine 4.0 version, still in beta, which uh, enables us Craft Editor here. Very powerful tool, I'm still learning it. And we have done three animations so far, attack, there's it, idle, basic and walk. We have uh, covered in, all of them in videos and we also have um, covered rig. Okay, let's let's get started. So we will be doing some quick dashing animation, maybe attack like punch or shooting from her guns that would appear suddenly and backflip. I don't know how much we can squeeze in 15 minutes video. I will be recording video while I do the animation. So there will be a lot of editing and let's get started. Let's create uh, animation and start from picking up a nice pose, nice anticipation pose before the dash. And here is the pose, the anticipation pose. I also a little bit adjusted it to achieve the dashing pose. I will be adding blur on this and let's actually do it by just exporting it. We can select PSD and export it here. Let's call it dashing pose. Uh, it will export this pose, current pose. So after we can add an effect, blurry or whatever we want to do. And we can open the pose in PSD and find all the layers with proper names. Let's create a layer uh, containing all of the layers. For that I will hit Ctrl, Shift, Alt, D, e, and that will create top layer with containing all merged here. Let's also duplicate it with hitting Ctrl J and add motion blur on it. Filter, blur and motion blur. Yeah. And see what we like. Uh, I will be using like duplication and some cleaning up and maybe um, erasing or modifying the mesh to achieve the best result I, I would like. A similar thing. Let me actually do that. Okay, this is the basic blur. I duplicated it several times to increase the strength and I cleaned it up the front section to give the direction to the motion blur and added some blue lines to the chest to show like emphasize that section because this is the driving the tracer forward. Let's see what we have. Okay, I have this line separately and then clean it up the front part. I will be merging them and hiding this body. We will be using body from the spine uh, and I will be exporting this in very small size to avoid big spreadsheets at the end. Uh, also, we don't need it big because it will be visible only two frames. Okay, let's bring it to spine. Here is the dashing pose in spine. I converted it into mesh and bound uh, to these two bones to have more flexibility over uh, the image. And both bones are children to this main bone. This bone will be containing all, all future poses that I will be creating in Photoshop. Okay, let's see how it works in animation. Before animation, I have done some modifications to the mesh, the image itself. I have added blue glowing effect, also modified the mesh. So when I drag this bone, this edge remains still. Also, I have added a few more glowing poses here, this and this, you will see in action. I was using same technique, just exporting the pose and adding some Photoshop effect. Okay, so this is our animation. And in a slow motion, let's see. Uh, let me break it down. She goes to anticipation pose. You can see that image starts to glow, even though it doesn't match at first. But it's, it's not visible too much and you can see I, I deform the image to match this pose, this 
blowing and the moment she starts moving the blur is at the extreme the longest position and she in one frame she just delivers herself into the enemy and the uh, next frame the glow will uh, the blur will just with a delay match the silhouette of the character also i would like to make her transparent while she is moving she is glowing for that i would select filter this uh, slots would select all the slots and since i have uh, extra like uh, non body belonging assets in different folders i can see them very quickly like fx slash that means it's a separate folder that doesn't belong to character's body let's find poses 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 we don't need this and that's it everything else selected belongs to our character so we can uh, find the pose we want her to make uh, fade out here 100 percent visibility here let's make her less visible and here let's bring her back yeah th that's it for dash uh, i will check it right now how much i have time left so maybe we can bring her here and punch and maybe backflip let's see you know what let's actually fill this character with bunch of vfx and we will finish the video with that later maybe i will do the whole animation and show it to you in the next video so this is the dashing that we have and i am thinking of like creating some anticipation power uh, here like charging up and that will be uh, in this section and after that i will add a trail like powerful trail that comes and covers this line showing up that some very good power appears here and maybe some more trails here so i i have checked um, my gallery let's see uh, you can check my previous video to see how i generally work with vfx and maybe some i'll show you some examples so this is the gallery where i look for uh, vfx it depends on project there are some projects that provide me with already um, made vfx so so far i have chosen this uh, two effects that uh, three effects this is anticipation i will change the color and maybe timing this will be on her chest before the dash happens and maybe this i will add it um, to like make the effect reach on her chest and some trails here i will also change the color and maybe i will find another one uh, for the trail to make it reach okay let's uh, grab them and uh, put them in our project the moment i pick the effect from gallery i would select not every uh, image like i would imagine the timing i need and maybe start by selecting one by one and i can see that there are two similar effects and i can like squeeze them in the timing so i will pick um custom way to avoid making the effect very big and after that just moving them in into the project and changing the color okay i have renamed it uh, the files and drag them in photoshop for now i will just uh, select all the layers rasterize them select one layer and play with the color adjustment let's isolate that layer and to we'll see better it's hard to see here how it works let's try colorize 
Yeah, I think I like the colorize more. And when we are happy with one image, we click OK, um, show every other layers, select the other layer and with Control Alt U, we will just apply the same settings to the other layer. Here, here are the same. And similarly, I will do it for the rest layers. You can create uh, action for that. Um, but if, if the images are not too much, I will just make it manually. Also, if there are uh, only one action, maybe it's easy to do manually. Okay, now before export, I will make sure that uh, all images are visible. I would trim the document. Sometimes um, there are a lot of space that are not necessary, but uh, make sure you have all images visible because when you are trimming, it considers all the image sizes. And now I will uh, use the hotkeys for my spine script and like maybe with 25 scale value, I will export without trim white space. It's important. We don't need this here because we need them all aligned in spine and we don't need just JSON. Also, I have cleaned up the image folder. We want it to export and override our existing files. Okay, let's check them and let's bring them in spine. Uh, for that, I will go and find them and let's refresh the images. I think five images are too not enough ah it's anticipation of course uh, let's find them i'm dragging them here uh, immediately i will reset their position select them all reset their position um, and I will deselect the first one and drag the other ones in the same slot. I will remove the slots, uh, select the root, uh, control and click on the image so that we mark the spine that we are going to uh, put this slot inside this bone. Okay, and VFX is ready. Next, we just need to just key them in, in animation. Let's see how it uh, shows up. I will do the same procedure for other VFX and uh, we'll see how it looks on the character. And here is the final result. Enjoy the dashing animation. Also, I can make it in slow-mo. You can see that the lines are duplicated here. Three of them to spread in the dashing view. Also, there are two copies of this anticipation scaling down. And you can see that this radial effect continuing glowing, uh, spinning after the dashing is done to show that the, this machine is still working. Uh, also, I have done, I have changed the color of the body. Here, you can see it's uh, bluish. I use this uh, feature, tint black. To, to brighten it up a little bit with some color. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I will be making or thinking about more stuff to share with you guys. And at the end, I think we can put this character into Unity and see what we can do there with her. I don't know, I'm just thinking. Make sure you have subscribed uh, to not miss any more videos and check out the pre playlist to see what we have done previously if you have missed that. Okay, bye, thank you.